Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Olisi, the son of Ngobe is my name. And I'm here just to update you about the processing of e-passports in South Africa by the Zimbabwean government. Uh, you will know that we did have a broadcast uh, a few weeks ago when we announced that the government back home has promised to avail the processing of e-passports for Zimbabweans in South Africa. Uh, let me say in the diaspora, starting with those that are based in South Africa, especially those that are based in Houghton. So we said back then that according to what the government had said to one of the mainstream newspapers in Zimbabwe, they were set to roll out the processing of e-passports to diaspora places where there are Zimbabweans. They said they're going to do it in South Africa, in Botswana, in the US, and in Europe, but specific, specifically in the UK. So they had promised that that would be rolled out in South Africa within the next week. But we also told you that because of some logistical problems, it was not possible for them to do it within the following seven days, dating from the day that we made the broadcast. So now people are asking because they have come across rumors that the processing of e-passports has been rolled out in South Africa and that people can now apply for e-passports in Eden Vale, that is in the Zimbabwean Embassy. This is what they have then come to us to ask if it is true. Uh, this is what we want to address. But before we go ahead, I would like to invite you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to share it. Now, back to the questions that we've been asked. The first question has been, is it true that the processing of e passports has already begun uh, in South Africa? The second one is, how much should someone prepare in order for them to go and apply for the e-passport in South Africa? And the third one is, uh, supposing that, that someone has applied, can they also collect their passports at the Zim Embassy in South Africa? So these are the questions that I want to answer. But let me hasten to say that the answers that I'm giving you now are not based on verified information from the Zimbabwean embassy, but from what the government has said to a newspaper back home and from what we're getting from people who claim that they've been there and they've processed or they have their applications processed. So the first point is the government said uh, two days ago, again, to a media house that's based in Zimbabwe, one of the mainstream media houses that is being uh, seen as a government spokesperson, that they have indeed rolled out the processing or the application process for an e-passport uh, to the Zimbabwean embassy in South Africa. And you know that the, uh, the passport applications are done at the consulate offices in Johannesburg, that is at, uh, in Eden Vale, that is uh, along Boeing Road. So they say that their staff that is meant to come and train uh, embassy staff in the processing of applications for e-passports has already been dispatched and they are busy training embassy staff, they are busy training consulate staff as to how to capture the details of an applicant for an e-passport and how to dispatch that to the processing zone. So what we are told is that this process has already begun uh, and they are claiming that already people can apply for e-passports at uh, their offices in Eden Bay. Uh, then we have spoken to two people. One says that they have uh, gone to the embassy and that is to the consulate rather and they have had their applications for an e-passport accepted. They say that they applied for an e-passport 
and they were charged something like they say that they were charged something like three thousand four hundred. So you to, to to be safe, you can take with you three thousand five hundred to three thousand six hundred to the Zimbabwean consulate in Eaton Vale, and you will have your e-passport application process. I mean processed, uh, but you don't collect it here uh, at the Zimbabwean consulate. You need to go home and collect your passport at your nearest city yeah, like Bulawayo if you are from Mat, uh, from from Bulawayo or other parts of Matebeleland you can also come uh, collect in yeah specifically in Bulawayo especially in Bulawayo and then uh, the money I've already told you that you have to prepare between 3,000 and 6 uh, between 3.5 and 3.6 so that you are on the safe side uh, we haven't yet been in touch with the consulate to try and verify what else you need to produce and they haven't as yet um, published any notice uh, around this process and then we spoke to the second person who said that they went there yesterday and they were told that this process hasn't begun so this is a mixed message so we will continue to try and reach out to the consulate because now we have mixed uh, messages. Maybe the person who tells us that they applied for an e-passport applied for something else, but you will remember that before the application for the e-passport uh, was rolled out or was meant to be rolled out, people could apply for ordinary passport and those ordinary passport, you only needed to carry 500 rand. So we will give the other person, the first person, the benefit of the doubt, but we are yet to see verified information from them maybe a receipt which says they have applied for an e-passport and once we get that we'll come here with verified information and we will tell you with the authority of an angel that indeed this has begun but for now we have been told government says they have dispatched their people to train uh, the consulate staff on how to process or to capture information for an e-passport application somebody says that they've applied and they got it. The other person, we don't have the proof that they indeed went there and didn't get the service that they required. So this is where we are right now, but we will indeed continue to try and verify this information so that at the end of the day, we give you information knowing that it is indeed correct. So thank you very much. This is where we are. But if you have gone there and gotten a positive or negative response in as far as e-passport applications are concerned, please get in touch so that we will churn out that kind of information and let people be the judges. But we cannot just sit when people are asking questions and say, until we've verified, then we cannot tell you what is happening because we will tell you, but also we will, as we have done, uh, explain to you that this is hearsay information that is yet that is yet to be begged with evidence. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it.